Let's start with some big numbers. Since the year 2000, the United States has spent over $900 billion on flood-related costs, and 125 million Americans live or work in a flood zone. Now, even though the climate's changing and extreme rainfall is getting to be more frequent, and the population grows every day, so we're going into our floodplains and developing them for residential or commercial use, the methods that we use today to fight floods are pretty much the same as 100 years ago. We either build barriers like stacking up sandbags or building levees to keep flood water out of our neighborhoods, or we build really big reservoirs where we can store excess rain until downstream floods have a chance to pass. Now, even though we have these methods and we've spent almost a trillion dollars, we continue to set records in flooding year in and year out, coast to coast. So this really begs the question, if we're getting all this excess rain, then why not just build big reservoirs like we used to? Well, unfortunately, the flood problem in the United States has reached a point that the number of reservoirs that we need are just too expensive. So what are we to do? That's where my research comes in. My research looks at a flood mitigation technique called distributed storage. And what it does is it takes the ponds and wetlands that already exist throughout a basin, adds gated outlets to them so that we can control how much water is leaving, and then operates them as a system to control flooding. Let's take a step back for a second. Think about rivers as roads that move water rather than cars. Think about reservoirs as big parking lots where we can store excess water for long periods of time. These gated outlets really act as stoplights. During periods of heavy rain, we put on a red light, close down the gates, and store water in the ponds so that it doesn't flood our towns. During other times, we can put on a green light, open up the gates, let the water roll downstream. By using the already existing gauge network at the University of Iowa's Iowa Flood Center, and some pretty complex hydrologic models, we can operate entire systems of these ponds, knowing what's happening at every pond at any given moment. There's an example of this on the screen. is a small watershed in southeast Iowa, and it has over 130 of these ponds. And my research has already shown that when they work together, they can reduce flooding by up to 30%. If we were to expand this out to the red area, the Des Moines Basin, there's over 850 of these ponds that would double the amount of flood storage in a very flood-prone basin right here in Iowa. Going forward, I hope to start incorporating rainfall forecasts so that we can clear storage from a basin in anticipation of rainfall, giving us a huge new tool in our fight against flooding. This research has a lot of potential to make a really big impact both right here in Iowa and nationwide. Thank you so much.